This is currently Brahala's safest weapon, arguably Brahala's best weapon, a ball that just floats around you, almost like a yo-yo without a string. But believe it or not, that's what makes it so OP. When Orb first came out, I'll be honest, I didn't really think much of it. Maybe that's because Dusk, who is the first Orb legend, is arguably the most boring. It's kind of sad to think about though, because the legend that most people think about when they hear the word Orb is usually Fate. Why? Because her second weapon is the most popular in the game, for reasons that we probably all know by now. But even then, there are better Orb legends to play. But hey, shout out to all the Dusk mains that stuck with him even when other Orb legends were available. I promise this video isn't just me hating on Dusk, I actually respect you guys so yeah. Also comment below if you're a Dusk main. But with that being said, Orb has a lot of movement options to keep you away from your opponent while attacking them at the same time. The best way to describe Orb's moveset is like having benefits of a weapon throw without actually having the disadvantage of having to throw the weapon. There is basically the safest move in the game. I mean just look at how much space you have between you and your opponent. It's really hard for them to punish if you space it right. You can also mix up your opponent by delaying the dare which causes the orb to bounce off the ground, giving it a different trajectory. This gives orb a really unique property that we haven't seen with other weapons. It can be really good and really bad. It's good for edge guarding because you can reverse dare off the stage allowing for an effective edge guard. A lot of people refer to this as the bicycle kick as it resembles one from football, but it can also be annoying when dealing with platforms. They can sometimes get in the way. On top of that, Orb has a really safe ground pound, since the hitbox is relatively far from the hurtbox. Sidelight is your main combo slash string starter. Almost everything you do will start with a sidelight. It has a lot of carry if you want to get your opponent off stage. Orb also just has a lot of true combos in general. Sidelight Sair, Sidelight Dare, Sidelight End Light, Gravity Cancel Sidelight Nair, Dare End Light, D-Light Nair, D-Light GC Sidelight Sair, Sair End Light, End Light Dare, and last but not least, Nair Sair. There are probably some you can do at later damages too. Lastly, I want to talk about Neutral Light. This is basically your failsafe option. It barely has any startup, so you can basically throw this move out if your other moves whiff. It also can hit slightly behind you, but you're basically stacked, which allows you to do End Light Side Light. Overall, most of Orb's kit is pretty fast in general, so you can get away with whiffing more than other weapons. Although Orb isn't perfect, its only real disadvantage is that a lot of its moves don't have much force. So most of your kills might be you fishing for Sair or maybe something like Recovery or Dare. But that's where Sigs come in. Sidelight and Sig is unjumpable on all Orb characters, so as long as you got the dodge read, that's an easy KO. Orb is also a great 2v2 weapon. Sidelight will always stun your opponent in the same place no matter what, which makes it easy to set up team combos. And like I said before, a lot of its moves are very fast and don't have a lot of active frames, so switching focus or battling in a 1v2 would be easier with this weapon. I mean look no further than when Boomy and Sandstorm went double Thor in tournaments. Even though it may have been for fun, it has proven to be a really strong team combination. Now I can't just tell you how good Orb is without showing you. So let's see if I can back up everything I said. But before I get into some actual games, I want to show you guys a replay. This was a custom crew battle that I did with my friends, and I'm the Ryu, and things got kind of interesting. As you can see, it's not going good for us right now, but it doesn't get any easier. Long story short, it's 4 stocks to 1, and I somehow have to clutch this out, and I don't know what I'm going to do, but then I realize I have orb, so I can basically be as passive as I want. Now I'll be honest, it didn't really go well for me at the beginning. Actually, it went pretty bad. All this damage I take on the stock is really bad because I don't have anything after this, but there you go, sidelight into Ensig works on every orb character. So that's one stock, we still have three to go though. All right, now this is where I use the bicycle kicks like I showed before. There's one, I didn't quite get it, but I tried again and I got two in a row. So they got, that was a quick stock for me. Now the only real way I can try to win this is by gimping. So that's exactly what I try to do. As you can see, I stay close to the edge. And now I'm basically going for the same thing. It works out again. And I thought I was dead here, but I just barely touched the wall. And now it's down to one stock. I picked up gauntlets, but I immediately throw them away because I know I'm not going to win with them. You'll see right here. Yeah, I just completely get rid of them. All right, now I'm finally back with Orb. I need to get him close to the edge. He's on the edge. And, oh yeah, I remember. I just used down sig this time. Because Petra's down sig is kind of good. 
and that was all orb, no gauntlets. Alright, now let's play some games. I'm a little bit tempted to just spam dare like the gold video. I want to see how well that works. Alright, hopefully we get orb first, come on. Nope. Alright, the dare only. <laughs> I, maybe I spammed it too much? I don't know. <laughs> that, that's already a disconnect, I guess. Alright, let's try this again. We take those? <laughs> I honestly don't know what's happening today. Oh, I think he's done. Yes! Oh my gosh. It's already three stocks to one. I'm telling you, Dare is OP. You can also combo with it. <laughs> Maybe the platform thing I was talking about earlier actually helps. I, I don't know. Start, it's kind of working right now. Oh my gosh. There's the second disconnect. <laughs> Oh no. Alright, now the question is, can we get three in a row? <laughs> Alright, finally I got orb first this time. Oh, he's already charging six. A good sign. <laughs> Interesting playstyle he has. It's no match for my dares though. Oh my gosh, this is actually working so well. This is where it kind of gets hard because I have to hit them downwards and doing it on, on stage is not really ideal. Oops, that wasn't a dare. There we go. <laughs> I feel like this works better than just the dares on scythe. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, and dare. There we go. <laughs> one more stock to go. Come on, one more. Oh no. Oh, if that platform wasn't there, that would have been it. I think he doesn't know what to do. He's just throwing out side six unarmed. Okay, last one. Oh, wait. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> no disconnect this time. This one was actually a bit closer. Okay, this time we have Demon Island. This should be even easier than last time. We got really short walls now, so... Daryl kind of covers the whole thing. I'm a little bit scared to kind of bicycle kick, though, because if I miss, <laughs> I could fall to my death. Oh, is that it? No, my... my, uh, my dare missed. How did my dare miss? There we go. And also, Thor has a lot of defense, so I barely take any damage. Hello? I think he's not amused by the tears. <laughs> I, I don't know why that was so funny to me. I think he genuinely doesn't know how to approach this. And one more. Oh. Okay. Can we get another three stock? This actually works too well. It's a little bit scary. They've resorted to sig spamming now. But it's not gonna help. I'm sorry. Come on. Just give me the three stock, please. Oh my gosh, that's it, right? He has nothing. Okay. And there's the disconnect. <laughs> four games, four wins, two three stocks. Do I need to say more? Orb is just too good.